So this is it, it's beginning? It is, yes. But where's the structure? Yeah. There's no inciting incident. Nothing's happened, we're just going to go rambling until we don't know who I am. There should be ten pages of context at the beginning where we establish who I am as a person. Then there should be an inciting incident about <clears throat> about quarter of the way through. Then there needs to be opposing antagonistic forces. Then we've got to identify with me as a hero. It's got to be sort of empathetic. Then at the midpoint, there's got to be a reversal. Meanwhile, there's a subplot going on over there. It mustn't distract you, though, and it should, be, uh, it should resonate with the central theme. There's a lot going on. What genre is it? If it's a comedy, like maybe my genre is, then you'll be a little bit more forgiving. All these things and more, I know on account of being on Robert McKee's story seminar. What I think of Robert McKee is that I think that he is a sort of a master of the form, but a servant to the craft. There's a wonderful humility in what he says, as well as a sort of a kind of grandeur to his manner. He obviously is motivated by a great love of what he does and a great love of story. So I think that's very enthusing to be around, it's very inspiring to be around because we live in very commercial corporate times where everything is about the, the, to generate money, to generate profit. So it's very beautiful to see somebody that's in contact with what they do in, a, and in harmony with higher principles. We're talking about things like archetypes, symbology, semiotics, the thing, the, the, uh, that's the architecture of the human mind and the soul. And even though like uh, up there he said he was an atheist, old Robert, the nature of God, for me, is like a shared language, a shared language of signs. God, for me, is unity. And this is to speaking of a common language between all human types, between indigenous tribes to the most uh, contemporaneous cinema. And both of those things, of course, dovetail in Avatar, because that is such a primal, tribal tale. It's a very good sort of like a post-modern lectures, but classicism is very, very well covered. He's a, he's a generous speaker and like a fine teacher, and it's a laugh. I've been, I've been really, really enjoying it. It's Saturday. I'm here on a Saturday. I'm English. I could be laying in bed wanking. Our screenplay uh, guru list. Okay, and then you can see each one of these questions. How do you tell a nonlinear story? How does story take flight? Story session part one, two, three. All the way down, you're, all these different him endings and exitings. How to unearth the stories that want to be told. Uh, now, you, just so they can hear from him in his own words, real because it's only two minutes, 47 seconds. What I'm going to do, my, so my answer to your question is what, I, what you'll see that I'm doing here is uh, the best thing in my opinion, that you could do for a student isn't to say why my theory is better than anyone else's theory and explain why, um, but it's to make, to empower every future storyteller out there to become their own guru and expose them to the top screenplay gurus that are out there and then after you've done that, then let's go to the ones that aren't even the gurus. Let's go to the ones that are actually telling the stories. And then we have playlist after playlist after playlist of them and how they work. And you're hearing that in their own words. So that to me is a, is a, a comprehensive way. Exactly. Oh, okay. So, for example, so I'm a key, they're all talking about what they think you need to do, right? And then, now just go to playlists in general. Okay, so you see, the after McKee, Linda Seeger. How many have heard of the book, Making a Good Script? Great. Okay, so then you can go to her and, and listen to, you know, uh, one, one of the things, advanced story techniques, deepening theme, Okay, um, so for example, just deepening theme, two minutes and 17 seconds. Do you guys want to hear yeah. that two minutes, 17 seconds deepening theme? Just giving you little two minute clips of 
whoa, there's a lot of advice out there. There isn't one guru. And I want to hear what they all have to say. And then after I hear what they all have to say, then I'm going to go to my favorite writers and hear what they have to say about their craft and how they work in their own words. Do you want to show that? We're afterwards. Okay. We'll just do that in order. In their own words. And then, you know, now we're starting, in my, in my opinion, that, that to me is where you're, you're really uh, not getting into uh, a rut of where you were told this is the person that knows everything, you followed that, and you know what? That person may be perfectly good, but Sid Field may work perfect for somebody, but just Linda Seeger is what resonates to somebody else, that she might speak to you. When you hear her talk, you go, you know what, that is the person, for whatever reason, she makes me feel like writing. You know, she's motivating, she's motivational to me. I like her take on, uh, on it, and so I wanna watch more of her than the other ones, and then, the next place we'll go to after we just get a little smattering of the gurus, then we'll go into uh, showing you the playlist without going into each of them, because I have hundreds of them, of the best writers in their own words, literally hundreds, and adding to them, you know, weekly. Um, and not just, you know, uh, here's a, a couple words of advice. We're talking about in-depth, you know, one and a half hour interviews by fellow writers uh, that know what questions to ask about their process and how they work. And they're all different. You know, if there was one way, this would be a very short class and very easy to teach. If there was one approach, one way to do it, everyone did it the same way and that's it. But that, that's not the nature of the arts. And, and, and that diversity is what makes the arts so interesting.